All right, hello there everyone. This is John from Nickton Gaming. I'm going to show you how you can host your Node and React app on Firebase, walk you through all of the steps that you need to do. Now, I'm assuming that you already have your Node and React um, app created. So first, make sure that the main here is pointed to the main that you have here. So mine is server.js and you use server.js you say start node server.js, dev concurrently node man start server.js, make sure this is server.js. CD client is the name of your React folder. If you have a different name for your React folder, change it here and here. Then Heroku post build CD React folder name, npm install, npm run build. And that should be all that you want for your package JSON. In the server, your server should look exactly like this for it to work. Um, and all of your routes in the server will be moved to the routes index.js, which we'll look in just a second. So you do need to use API use slash. You don't need to use API. It can be another name. Um, same with the folder name. But that's what I'm using here. You can change those. Make sure you have path and the process env port has to be added. And you have to add this little snippet here. So app use express static client build. Again, if you change the name of your React app folder name, you would change it here and here. And then you res send file path. This um, sends your React index HTML to the user. So this helps give your React app to the user viewing your web page. We also need to create an HTTP server here and have it listen to the port. And again, you do have to have the process env port. In the index.js where you get your routes, you know, you just do your router post instead of app post, app get, app delete. And make sure you export that using modules export equals router, as well as setting up your router up here. If you use Firebase or any other credentials, um, I'm just using JSON parse process env Firebase creds which links to what I have, what I will have in my uh, Heroku. In my React, um, you do need to add the proxy to your local host 3001 or whatever else um, port you use there. Everything else can be left as default. Uh, if you did change it, you might want to change it back or re-import it. Next thing is I do use um, Firebase authentication in my React app. So any credentials in your React app or environment variables even must start with React underscore app underscore and then the name. Otherwise, React won't be able to grab them. I uh, just made that mistake in my two hour uh, video where I built this whole thing. And if you have any spelling errors, like I had a capital I here, You'll see that after you publish. One last thing you want to do is go to your client reveal in file explorer. If you have a git in your node or a git in your client, you want to delete those now, um, especially in your client. If you have git in your client, it will uh, stop Heroku from publishing your app, which is a critical error. Now, without further ado, Let's go into our command line. I'm using git bash for this, and I'm in fern demo, which is my master folder. I'm going to type git init. This will initialize an empty git repository. If you haven't already, add a git ignore. You want to just ignore node modules and env. Add any other folders and files that you want to ignore there. Then we want to do Heroku create, and then the name of your app. I'm just going to name this Fern demo, and it's going to create this Heroku app with the name here. Uh, pay attention to the name that you use. I will mention this later when we uh, set the uh, remote to it. But for now, we can do git remote dash v. If you don't see these two lines where it says Heroku fetch and Heroku push, then you might need to manually set your Git remote. As the amazing Heroku articles say, 
If you need to manually add the remote, you do Heroku Git Remote A and then the name of your app. Mine would be Heroku Git colon Remote A Fern Demo. You would do whatever name that you have there. And by now, your Heroku should also be available in your Heroku dashboard. So here's my Heroku dashboard. It has my app. Um, it is not deployed, which is why this is a muted purple instead of a solid purple. At this time, I do want to add my configuration variables. It won't stop my app from uh, pushing, but it will at least look nasty. So I'm going to add my node credentials for my uh, fire store. And then I'm going to add my React credentials using the React app. Now with the credentials, make sure you have quotation marks on both sides of your credentials in your JSON. Otherwise, um, it won't, it will come out as undefined or even throw an error saying that your JSON is not formatted properly. So it's a bit finicky with the JSON and the credentials. Um, but after that, you're fine to go into here, and we are ready to get started. So git add dash a, that adds everything. Make sure that it's adding your client folder or whatever the name of your React app is. Otherwise, that means that you have your git in the client, and you need to remove that. And make sure you're doing it in the master folder. Next, after we git add a, we do git commit dash m and then type a meaningful message for mine it will be initial commit this tells you what you did in this commit and after the commit is done we do git push heroku master i do master because my name is master here if yours is main that means you might have a newer one so you do git push heroku main instead of heroku master and at the end it will either say that it was built or it failed. Either way, don't panic. You might still have errors after that. We'll come back and talk about how to debug some of the errors that you might have. All right, mine did not have any build errors. If yours did have build errors, then you can go to your activity and you would be able to view the build log well, where it will give you a fairly detailed um, description of what exactly happened. Try to read through it from top to bottom because the bottom most error might not be what the actual error is. Another thing, if you have an error, you can type Heroku logs dash dash tell, and it might tell you what errors happened, what things weren't building. If you have something like the no build scripts found, then maybe in your package JSON you didn't type the Heroku post build correctly, or maybe you don't have routes. If you want to exit that, control C and then yes. Um, and one last thing is make sure even if it builds correctly, type Heroku open. And this will open your Heroku website in the last browser that you had opened. And you want to go through and right-click and inspect. Go to the console and see if you have any console errors. Because even if it builds correctly, you might still have errors. Uh, for example, with me, when I built this earlier, I had um, typed Firestore creds instead of React app Firestore creds. It built the app, but when it went to open the web page, it gave the critical error of Firestore creds was undefined because, of course, I had to type React app. So I hope this helped you. I hope you can publish your um, Node and React application to Heroku. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments. We can try to work them out. But no matter what, have a great day. See you next time.